Look, at this point, I'm only a couple of hours off of cooking up this one for you on the big whoopsie from Minecraft.net slash live, and they've done it again. They're trying to make me explode. I'm going to go crazy. They've given us more, except this time it's intentional, and I think they want us to crack the code. I'm a self-aware guy. I know that lately we've been down bad in our detective hat wearing tinfoil titan Terra. I know. I, but how could I not? I live for this stuff. It makes me so happy. Leaks, I love them. Theories, they're theoretical. I, the final time we're going to talk about Minecraft Live 1.22 and the theories before the big show on Saturday. Subscribe so you don't miss the recap and uh, let's get to it, lads. Let's get to it. So yesterday on the official Minecraft YouTube channel, a short and sweet video like Sabrina Carpenter was released all about Minecraft Live 2024. Out of its total 1 minute and 44 second runtime, unbelievably, this thing is packed with so many hints and teasers. Which I guess I should say real quick, again, spoiler warning. If you tapped on this video expecting anything other than Minecraft live speculation well I mean good jokes and handsome looks I've got you but yeah there's gonna be some spoilers too they leave the video if you don't want any spoilers I'll see you tomorrow I'll be here I promise of 44 seconds into this video approximately I'm gonna need you to listen more that sound right there loop it back one more time yeah that sound right there that might be the very first taste of the new Minecraft mob whatever it is coming in this update. Double spoiler warning, a couple of days ago, some leaks happened that we talked about them in this video. I'm gonna drop some of those names in three, two, one, the creaking. That thing sounds like a little bit of sneaking. It definitely sounds like a whole lot of creaking. That's, it's gotta be it, right? In this video, we learn a little bit more about what to expect from the show and the post-show, which I think is going to be super intriguing to see. I love the idea of seeing the devs play with the content. Ah, uh, but, however, right near the end of this video, now I'm not gonna play the sound for you, I'll talk over it. You know, just trying to get some food out here, no copy strike. Oh, but right at the end of the video, oh, my heart, my fear, horror-loving heart, it tingles. I, ah, uh, you see, for a second, I thought it was already, like, October 8th, the Silent Hill 2 remake had dropped, but no, it's the Mojang video we have boo about to sneak into this room with the minecraft 1.22 spoilers and uh something terrifying happens if you couldn't pick it up from the visual context clues here there's like a little bit of a scream a little bit of a shake up and some creaking for sure and oh uh, are we about to get an another horror update Ah, no, it was deep, and it was dark near the end of this video, and it was definitely terrifying. This is all calling me back to the deep, dark biome that was added in Minecraft 1.19. At this point, oh, at this point, it's been three updates ago. We're going on it. High instant age lines aside, it's deep and it's dark feeling. I actually saw a little bit of speculation from you guys down in the comments that maybe the creaking is sort of an addition or a follow-up to the deep, dark biome. I don't necessarily think that, but it's interesting, and it almost feels terrifying. It was the first vibe that I caught from the video right there, and I feel like a decent amount of people are kind of maybe almost vibing with that as well at this point. Now I like to make videos. It's my passion, my true love. I have so much enjoyment from it, and I especially love to make videos for you that don't end up getting a copy no. strike, so you'll just have to trust me on this part. But another one that happened that I think is maybe notable right there. The Boo swoops his arm down and says we're going to have to dig down into some of the new updates. This could just be like a mannerism of speech, how he talks or whatever, or is this another hint as to where this biome is actually going to end up popping up? Uh, I swear at this point, they watch my videos. They're trying to cook me right in front of you in 4K because I said I did the odds of a biome coming to the underground eh, may be unlikely and sure, maybe still unlikely, but but with the additional information and context, maybe it isn't as unlikely as I once thought. Perhaps more biomes will be coming to the underground. I mean, after all, this place down here is pretty dark, deep, and scary. And uh, gosh, it's like there's so much room under the underground for even more biomes to be added. We talked all about it months ago in this video right here. Check it out next. And yeah, I, just, I could almost see it. It's deep down here. It's dark, and it's definitely scary. Let's move on. Add in the context of the leaks from the official Minecraft website. We have the name of a mob, we have the name of a brand new biome coming to the game, and things get very spicy. Our next teaser that energetically, I can feel it, they're practically begging for me and you together to dive into, crack open, and figure out. It's on the, the Twitter account, and this one is juicy. Time to wildly speculate. And here we have a developer pointing at Minecraft Live, and I look, I can't even, you're already looking at it, the board. We have a bunch of different wood types crossed out, X'd out, that's not happening. 
and then we have one wood type that clearly very evidently i don't appear it is crossed out x out, not happening I, I can't stick home i'm gonna have to get like my heart to rate to check out after this video or whatever they say because in that video there's a very very pale looking wood set uh like lined up and not crossed out and even more so unlike this wood set that we're looking at in game right here thanks to a mod that i've linked down below uh it's not just like a recolorization over to our third best friend photo analyzer 3000 where we can draw circles all day long and cross out things again this wood set right here if we take a look at it and this leaf type right over here i do not believe that that leaf type is a leaf type that exists inside of minecraft and taking a look at that log right there that i believe to be a completely different log texture like zooming in and enhancing sharpening even yeah that, that's a completely different texture i don't think it exists in the game you can see from the mangrove log right there that's a different texture this one the spruce i believe it has a classic texture even the crimson stuff different texture this thing is different i believe this confirms that a branch new wood type is coming to the game i mean look why would they post this and not cross out these other things right there if they're not coming to to the game uh this is huge and i think whatever this drop is going to be 1.22 whatever uh this we've been asking for this literally forever wherever this wood is we've always been begging <laughs> so uh but removing some of those arrows they're making me look a little crazy here we can see the image again and now we can see this part right here that almost looks like the firefly but it also almost to me looks like eyes or teeth or something and to that, my fellow besties, my detectives, brings us to the next stop of the day. You keep that picture in mind, because now we're at the Minecraft TikTok for a second. All right, now turn your brightness up. This video is really dark, and it's very mysterious. Clearly, we can see somebody is being followed by something. They turn around really quickly and look at those three eye-like things. Looping it one more time, we're walking down the hallway. There's, like, some scary sounds you can't hear them, I know. But anyway, scary sounds, and there's something behind us, and it almost seems transparent, like floating eyes and oh then all of a sudden it gets us this has got to be the new mob and it looks like it's just stalking and creeping so eerie oh this is terrifying jumping over minecraft snapshot 24w39 a the very first snapshot in a long time like we're talking years time that i haven't had the opportunity to make a video on and to be honest with everything big happening i don't know if i'm going to so mini showcase right here inside of the snapshot a couple more technical stuff is very nice and a gigantic big map change that i absolutely love with the carved pumpkin essentially if you are wearing a carved pumpkin uh that's gonna hide you completely like your little icon from popping up on a map and even larger news stuff that we'll definitely hear about a minecraft live a bundles are no longer experimental in the companion preview that dropped on the same day for minecraft to bedrock that same line popped up in the change log that means bundles will make it to bedrock in 1.21.40 the name of which we talked about yesterday we also had a big change affecting item highlights that i've since highlighted right here inside of yesterday's snapshot too now, I love to make the snapshot videos for you. They're so fun to make. I love to jump in, react, and try and find things. But I'm sorry, I didn't have the chance to make it yesterday. But always remember that Azuma Void, the absolute legend himself, also makes snapshot videos. And they're a great way to catch up on things that I might miss in a snapshot video. Or if I don't happen to make one, well, Izuma made one yesterday, and he talked all about it, so check out his video next. Anyways, why is all of that relevant? Well, it's all kind of relevant because of these weird things over here, the teeth, the eyes, and then this image right there, which, again, it's dark. It almost looks like a garage, so perhaps garages are coming to Minecraft, but a little bit more likely, I think whatever hostile mob this thing is going to be, well, it's going to glow in the dark. And glow in the dark, that comes into play because yesterday's snapshot fixed something with mobs glowing in the dark and a bug that was fixed in yesterday's snapshot entities with emissive eyes so kind of like glowing eyes aren't properly affected by fog of any kind so right here for example we're taking a look at the end certain entities here like the enderman have emissive eyes you should be able to see their eyes in the fog but you can't it almost seems like whatever entity is going to be revealed at minecraft live well it's going to have some kind of emissive eye thing maybe going on because after all perhaps this is either an end biome or a cave one and those emissive eyes well you got to get the full experience they need to glow in the dark but end biome i mean it still could totally happen and i think that would be fire in such a great way of mojang to like spice up the end to make it look more interesting but i'm just not sure 
Back to this image right here. Remove a couple more arrows. We have another component that isn't scratched out. That's going to be this screen over here, which we actually have a better shot of. Aside from that, though, we have all of these papers. I'm not even going to try and, like, waste my time here and decipher these. I think the text is way too small. There are too few pixels to actually be able to, like, figure out what this is saying, but it's interesting. Minecraft, on their official Instagram, they shared another teaser, and this teaser definitely looks a lot like that death screen image that we were just seeing in the big one on the boards. Now look, I'm not saying that they will never put to dirt or grass in the end, but would they do that? In this screenshot right here, Steve was something. Something bad happened to Steve. He was doing a little bit of something, and something happened. All over the ground, we can see a torch, so maybe a cave again? And then we can see grass blocks. Definitely overworld vibe for sure, but not necessarily for sure. I feel like I'm saying a lot of, like, maybe, but definitely, possibly, maybe today, but you never know. I feel like a pale wood type would totally fit inside of the end, and that would be a great incentive to go out there and get it, but at the same time, this screenshot and whatever entity lives inside of that biome, something that we learned from the leaks the other day, well, it's got grass and dirt, so that makes me think a cave. It also has a brand new block that I don't believe we have ever seen before, almost looking like that OG gravel, but there's no way they bring it back, right? Like, that'd be terrifying. So the clues that we have, let's put them all together. In the screenshot, the death screen, we can see the side of a grass block. Maybe the coloration looks a little bit off, though. We also have a torch there, so maybe it was a dark area that the player was trying to light up. We also know, it, at least it seems like, almost confirmed for sure, brand new type of wood that is pale is coming to the game. Combine this information with the leaks that we have from the other day, the name of the biome, and it seems like this white type of wood it's confirmed. And then we've got a little bit of information on this brand new hostile mob coming to the game. And oh gosh, oh golly, it seems terrifying. I think it's going to live inside of that biome and be very bad. What do you think? Do you think all of this new biome stuff is still going to pop up inside of the end? Because that would be fire. If you've got a cool theory, my subreddit r slash waddles is like the perfect place for it. Send it over there. Double check real quick. Make sure you're subscribed and notifications on because this Saturday and, and really everything from this point on, it's going to get a little bit crazy and a little bit huge. You don't want to miss it. On the end card is a playlist and a video. Check them out, especially handpicked for you. It's been me, Waddles, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Watching. <laughs>